My name's Damien Roach. I'm an artist, musician, designer, and a lecturer. Data and Coco are doing a collaboration whereby uh, many artists are being invited to make uh, projects here. And I'm here at Coco just having installed a new project called Seed. So the project is articulated in a number of different ways. First of all, there's a machine learning model that I've trained on 17th and 18th century Dutch realist flower paintings. The Netherlands was in a, a, a huge boom at the time that those paintings became very popular and everyday people were kind of buying paintings and kind of engaging with art in a very kind of democratic way. There was a, a fascinating thing happening as well where the flowers depicted within those images often are from completely different places on the planet. So the images uh, are kind of fictitious, you know? This flower could never live alongside this flower. So there's actually this kind of like strange, surreal production of a different form of reality that goes on within these paintings. Essentially, I've made a system that's able to kind of generate new images based on hundreds of uh, images of these 17th and 18th century Dutch realist flower paintings. Once it's learnt about the characteristics that those images have, then it's able to kind of generate new images based on those kinds of characteristics. In the lounge, uh, across a large panel of screens, we have a, a, a series of these videos that kind of morphs between a number of these different generated images. I've always been interested in trying to find different ways of disseminating information. So that could be an event, or it could be a, a publication, a zine, a live performance, it could be really almost anything. So with NFTs, I, I found a kind of particular interest in a digital artifact that is essentially kind of concretized in some way. So as well as um, the installation here, the animations that have been produced exist as uh, NFTs. Each one of these is paired with a skateboard with its own unique kind of image uh, printed on it, each with their own soundtrack, and each one of those is tied to a perfume. So there's this kind of idea of bringing together physical, bringing together digital nature with, with the kind of built environments. This is really fascinating, you know, being of a kind of generation that's sort of seen the proliferation of sort of digital imagery, modes of communication, so on proliferating with, with such a speed. It's really interesting to see this kind of tool or kind of system come into being. Trying to encourage kind of creative thinking, developing new parts of thought and beyond thought action. Thinking about how we live, how we can try to find other ways of doing things. I think what uh, is happening here with uh, Luno um, at Coco is, is uh, certainly an interesting part of that. And um, I think one of the things that's possible to do within arts, within music, philosophy, and so on, is to provide a situation whereby new paths of thought can be at least tested and that we can use those tests in our lives, in, in rethinking how we interact with um, other people, with, with our, uh, the world and with sort of society at large.